I'd like to speak a little bit about antique uh, pottery. So this is a typical rustic kitchen implement. Um, it's red clay that's been dipped in a sienna color and then glazed. This was fired twice and is typical Maiolica. For throughout the ages, Europe had this sort of ceramic um, and often on the, on the background color would be hand-painted patterns and what have you. It goes way back to the early Renaissance. We now have a lot of what we call porcelain. This is today made in industrial quantities all over the world. This, these two plates are from a set of Sevres um, uh, dinner service and they were made probably around the 1950s. And they're very fine, as are these. This is part of a set uh, made in the late 30s uh, as a coffee and tea set. But the amazing thing about porcelain is if you look at it against the light, it's translucent. You can almost see through the, the plate. And this is because this is made from kaolin. It's not red earth. And the very first bits of porcelain were brought to Europe by Marco Polo along the route, the, the land way to China. And they looked at these pieces and they could not figure out how they were made. They, they thought they were made from the cowry shells that are shaped as a, almost like a bivalve. And they took the name in Venice of, a, of the slang word given to the sex of the female pig, la porcella. Hence the name porcellana and in English porcelain. In England, of course, much later, they gave it the name of China way because that's where it came from. The Europeans tried to figure out what was porcelain and they could not understand it came from Kowloon. And they, they tried different things and there was a lot of money being thrown around in various kingdoms to be the first to develop porcelain. The cost of imported porcelain was stratospheric. And what people were doing around Europe were things like this. So red clay dunked in a vat of white background, hand painted with vaguely chinoiserie patterns. And they were quite thick and not usually very fine quality. So these are 18th century pieces that paid a tribute, if we want, to porcelain. There is a story that the King of Saxony was putting forward a lot of money. And in order to keep him happy with something that resembled porcelain, the potters made very, very fine red clay platters and painted them white and decorated them. And they exist in the Meissner Museum. They're amazing works of art. 